It's time for another Metrotex MLS Insights. So we get this question quite a bit uh, here at the MLS Support Department of Metrotex about how do I use electronic signature to execute a document once my uh, client has uh, initialed and signed that document. So today this video is going to be about how to accomplish that. And we're going to be using the Instanet uh, product here. I'm currently in Instanet Solutions and if I go down to Transaction Desk here on the left hand side it will show all my transactions. The one I used uh, last will be right here at the top and I have prepared a transaction ahead of time just uh, 1000 Disney Lane here and got it all set up with buyers and sellers and agents and all of that. I'm currently in the middle of doing the transaction. This document here was uh, created in the system and sent out to e uh, through e signature to my buyer for them to sign the one to four family residential contract. So that was our offer. And I submitted that to the listing agent. The listing agent submitted it to their seller and the seller has signed and initialed the offer but they did do some strikeouts on it. So my um, buy, um, buyer needs to initial those changes to the contract and then at that point it will be an executed contract and I we need to uh, fill out that uh, portion of page 8 for that uh, execution uh, area there. So there's a couple of different ways to send this out to my buyer to initial those changes. If we come over to the far right to the street light icon and we click on it, one of the op options is sign in authenticine. If I was just going to send this one, that's probably the best way to do it. If I had more than one that I wanted to send, I would click on the select or deselect over here. It would put them in the basket and then once I'm in the basket, there's also a sin to in AuthentiSign uh, here also. So if you're doing multiple documents, that's probably the better way to do it. If we click on send and AuthentiSign, it's going to take us into the AuthentiSign product. And to use the um, execution by me, I'm going to do what's called sign in line. I'm going to send it to my buyer first to do the initials. Once uh, they have initialed it, it will come to me for me to do the uh, execution of the document. So I'm going to choose that. Then we're going to go to step two, the participants. It's going to show all the participants in the transaction here. So I'm the selling agent. Uh, Annie Realtor is the listing agent. Mickey Mouse is the buyer. And Donald Dunk. Donald Duck, excuse me, is the seller there. So I need to select Mickey as the buyer and the remote signer, myself as the selling agent, and I also am going to be a remote signer. When I hit add, it's going to add both of us to this transaction, but I need to get us in the right order. I need Mickey to do his initialing first. So I'm going to hit the arrow there and he will move over to the left. Oops, hit it. there we go. He'll be the uh, first one that does anything and then I will do be the second one to do something. Then we're going to go to our documents and on our documents the reason it has a red hand here is this PDF file was created outside the system. When we click on this it's wanting us to make sure that we have the correct orientation. So if I needed to rotate the documents or um, pages or whatever here it would show me a representation of the page and I would just confirm that the top is at the top. If they were laying on their side I would rotate them to get the top at the top. This one is okay so I'm going to hit close just to verify that it's correct and then we're going to go to step number four design. When we go to design, this is where we're going to add any initials or signatures that need to be placed on uh, the document. And in this case, the seller has agreed to all the terms except for two, and they struck those out and they initialed them. So you'll see my buyer's initials over there. The seller actually used a wet signature, putting an ink to paper. Imagine that these days. How long has it been? So if we scroll on down, they did not agree to doing 
home service contract and they also change the closing date there so we've got two places that changes were done and the seller has initialed those I need my buyer to initial them so while I have my buyers name showing in the top right hand corner I'm gonna to go to drag and drop and I'm gonna put an initial at each of those for the buyer to initial then we're going to scroll down to the bottom once the buyer has initialed those then this will be a free a fully agreed to and executed document so I would need to fill in the execution portion of this page at the bottom of page 8 here so whoever is showing in the top right hand corner these tools are related to them so I want to make sure that my name is showing in the top right hand corner and then I'm going to pull some text boxes out and I'm going to put the text box over here in the execution area need to make this a little bit smaller for the core uh, the size here so I'm going to put that right there in that small box then I need one for the month so I'm going to come over and pull another text box over again I'm going to size it here get a little bit smaller put it where it goes and then I need the year so I'm going to grab one more again need to make it smaller put it in place and now this system does not like just having text boxes for someone it wants you to initial uh, or sign with it also so I'm going to drag my initial out here and put it in the corner of the execution so it'll show that I made these changes here once I've got those in place I know where my buyer needs to initial I know where I need to insert the text boxes and my initial so I'm going to go ahead and hit next when I hit next there <clears throat> it's going to look and see do I have everything that I need I know the details about this transaction I know the participants I know the documents and I know where everyone needs to initial and sign those documents so then we're going to hit send invitation when we hit send invitation there it's going to send an email to Mickey Mouse for him to do his initials until Mickey Mouse initials everything it will not let me have a um, um, email or will not notify me by email until he has done that so now I'm going to jump over into Mickey's email here and notice right here we've got the wrong email let me hit right there there's the right email we're looking for so it looks like it came from me authentic sign invitation for review and signing the documents on this transaction when they click on it this is what they're going to see if you put your logo on your profile they'll see that it's going to call them by name show them their email address and then down here they have a place to click to sign the documents when they click that it takes them to the AuthentiSign website. The documents never leave the AuthentiSign website. Everyone comes there to the documents so that they can see those and initial and sign. When they first come in, they're going to see their name, but then they can select a different font if they want. Uh, Mickey's signature, let's say, is not too fancy down here, so I'm going to do that one. And then they have to accept the terms of using this system. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept. And then they're going to see a representation here of the documents. They would scroll down through here until they get to the point where they need to initial. So they're going to see those initials that I place right there next to those changes. They click on them. And once they do the two initials right there, it says, you're done. That's all you need to do for us. So we're going to hit complete signing. When we hit complete signing, it gives them a confirmation page here that they have finished signing. I'm going to go ahead and close that and get into my work email here as the realtor. I'm going to get into my uh, Outlook email here and I should be receiving an email here just momentarily to show me that I need to sign a document so you heard that little tone there right here I got notified that my seller 
excuse me, my buyer has signed the documents that I sent him. And now I have received an authenticity invitation to review and sign what I need to. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to scroll down on the document here till I find the sign here again. I'm not going to wait for the graphics to download there, but I'm going to go ahead and click on the click here. It's going to take me into the AuthentiSign website again and to these uh, documents that I need to review and add the text boxes to an initial. Once it opens up, again, it's going to take me through the same process that did my buyer. I'm going to collect on select a font, select the signature I want to use, then I'm going to accept the terms of using this electronic signature. I'm going to scroll down confirming all the initials and signatures are everywhere they need to be. There's where my buyer initialed electronically there. So I'm going to get down to the execution box at the bottom of page 8. So now these are assigned to me. I'm going to click in them and I'm going to say this is the first day of June. And 2018. And then I'm going to click that I made these changes here. So I did my initial, and boom, it says I'm done. That's, those are the three text boxes in the initial I had to complete there. I hit complete signing. It gives me a confirmation that that signing has been completed. I'm going to jump back over into the transaction here and I'm on the signings page of this transaction. Right there was the signing I was doing. I'm going to hit the refresh button. It's going to tell me that it was approved. Got a little blue ribbon there. And now when we go to the documents, we'll see that we have a fully executed, initialed and signed document there. There goes my email dingers again, so um, please ignore those. If I want to change the name of this document, I can. If I come over here to the right and I want to change the name from that long name there, I could call this the executed contract and hit rename there and boom I now have that renamed it's fully signed by both parties on each side the buyer and the seller and it is executed by me I hope that helps you to understand how to execute a document as a part of the signing process